There was a busker playing his violin just outside Washington DC Metro Station. He had a cap on, it was quite unassuming, he was just wearing normal busker clothes. He was playing one of the most expensive violins ever and some of the most beautifully composed music from the most talented artists and talented composers. The funny thing, 1,097 people walked past and barely anyone noticed it, barely anyone really connected, barely anyone was really engaged. In just under an hour, he'd accrued about just over $30, and that's not a bad amount for a busker, but the fascinating thing was that just a week before, he'd sold out an arena for $100 per seat. This was actually a social experiment conducted by the Washington DC Post, which showed, do we miss beauty when we see it unexpectedly? Are we not able to observe beauty, observe talent? Is it that we miss the most amazing things in the world just because we don't see them on television or they're not presented to us in a certain format or in a certain package or in a certain box? I believe you should focus your life on observing the little things because one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. We miss the sparks of brilliance. We miss the joys of nature. We miss the blooming of flowers. We miss all of these sensations. Reducing our pace of life doesn't mean becoming slower or less ambitious. It actually means that we take out more time to regenerate, rejuvenate and re-energize ourselves. And the challenge is that we often confuse the noise of our ego with the voice of intuition. But actually, the more we tune out of the space we're in, we can tune into that intuition. We can actually find how we can be guided and navigate life because big egos have little ears. And that means that we can't hear properly because the truth is everything has beauty, everything has life, everything has energy, but we just don't have the eyes to see it. We don't have the eyes to perceive it. We don't have the eyes to appreciate it, but we can have those. We can actually develop insight. We can actually develop new ways of looking at things simply by becoming more attentive, simply by becoming more mindful, simply by becoming better observers of reality rather than participants. I really want you to get involved in this conversation and this dialogue as we think out loud together about our minds in this world. So please join and subscribe today. Look forward to you joining me.